other transfer news, which actually happened just before we came on um, and start recording the podcast, was uh, Matt Doherty to, um, to Spurs. Now, let me just start off by saying that's a classic Jose Mourinho transfer. I think Matt Doherty is a solid right back. Now, what he brings you, and this is very interesting because I always go back to this quotation. When Jose Mourinho was trying to sign even Perisic from Inter Milan, there was a journalist, I don't know if it was Fabrizio Romano or maybe someone else, um, that you know, fans were saying, you know, what's your take on Perisic? And he said, even Perisic is a 7 out of 10 player. And the fans went, what, 7 out of 10? What do you mean? He doesn't give a 9 or a 10? Oh, this is shit. What an awful transfer this will be. And what he politely said back was, 7 out of 10 means every single week you're going to get the same player. It's consistency. He knows he he's manager's dream. He's reliable. He's going to come onto the pitch every single week. He will give you that same solid performance, a seven out of ten player. Now, Matt Doherty is not necessarily the most glamorous signing that Spurs fans would want, but what you are getting is a very underrated fullback. And for fifteen million, bargain, absolute bargain. So, gents, let me know your opinion on the the signing. What do you think? Yeah. Um. Go on. Uh, well, I, I was I was just going to say this one. Um, I'm hugely conflicted on it. I'm uh, I'm a huge fan of Matt Doherty. I think he's a terrific player. Um, the first concern I would have about this transfer um, is the fact that he usually plays in a back five with Wolves, or sort of a back three uh, with him as a wing back. He won't get that system at, at, at Spurs. There'll be a degree of uh, discipline that's expected of him. I do think he, he'll manage that, you know, really well. Mm-hmm. Um, it seems to me they're plugging a hole, though, that uh, that doesn't really exist. Uh, I, I like Matt Doherty. I think he's going to add to them. Um, but if we're talking about areas that they needed to improve, you'd probably see, say that you know left back would be probably the area. Serge Aurier had the second most assists out of all the full out of all the defenders last year. Obviously, second only to Trent, who was exceptional. So they're losing uh, one of those two, either Matt Doherty or, or Serge Aurier, and you'd have to expect that it would be Serge Aurier. Um, I like Doherty a lot. I think he's going to, you know, he's only going to improve the team. Mm -hmm. They need to be sure that they sign some other players as well. You know, you'd be looking at, uh, I know they've signed uh, Pierre uh, Heuberg, um, but for me, that's that's not a signing who's going to, you know, make them challenge for Champions League football again. Um, They need to be looking at a central midfielder. They need to be looking at a left back, um, maybe a centre half as well. Uh, But Doherty for sure. I think he's a terrific sign. And for £15 million, it is extremely hard to say no. Um, a bit confusing, though, at how they actually got him for £15 million in the okay, current market. A page on Twitter, because I'm sure he's got at least three years of his Wolves contract left. What, like what, what, I found, what I found interesting about this one, um, he would appear to be the world's worst man, uh, if, if not, you know, footballer. Um, he's a massive Arsenal fan. Um, massive, massive Arsenal fan. And... He not only has joined Spurs, but he's joined Spurs at a time where they're pretty much on the same level as Arsenal. So he's joined Spurs in the effort to get them above Arsenal and, and sort of eradicate Arsenal from, from European football. Um, so that's going to be an interesting one. Is he going to be Agent Doherty um, yeah. you know, behind enemy lines sort of thing? Or, or is he actually going to be a, you know, a good signing for them? Yeah. yeah. Um, I agree, first of all, the, the transfer... Um, fee. If £15 million is correct, that is daylight robbery for a player of that quality, especially um, we're going off last season, right? So, I hope kind of for Doherty's sake that he doesn't have a second season syndrome here and and sometimes you can see when players um, play exceptionally well for one club and move to another you know, will it, will it be the same for Doherty? Like Rhys said, he's probably not going to play the same system Um He's going to have stiffer competition. Has Mourinho got different plans for him? Who knows? But, you know, I hope for Doherty's sake that it doesn't sort of dip off from second season. He then maybe starts on the bench more often than not, or he's in and out with competing with Serge Aurier. You just don't know what's going to happen. But £15 million, pound, I don't understand how that's happened. I don't understand how people aren't competing at that price. Um, one thing's for sure, though, is you, you can see Mourinho building that strong, taller, brute culture at yeah. Spurs. Anyway, same with um, Heuberg um, and now with uh, Doherty. He doesn't sign small, diminutive players, does he, Mourinho, anymore. He, he said um, something along the lines of, 
um, you know, when he came into Spurs that basically this team it, it's not full it's not full of winners it's not basically full of, of players that are going to put their bodies on the line for Spurs you know, you know it hasn't got that um, aggressive sort of spine that he likes to have um, and I don't rate the signing of, of Hoiberg but you can kind of see what he's the type of player that he wants in there um, and you can I can totally see Spurs being a more of a nasty horrible side to play against at this rate next season than what they are at the moment um, so yeah I, I think it's got the making of a of a terrific move 